Det er dårlig å sitte i en kveld, og ja, det var spennende for alt jeg må høre om det, om hvordan vi kunne være vi her fra Fargen av å hjelpe å huse jøtene, og vi på samme måte kunne være til vitsbord for jøter, til at det er så vidt ikke, til at jøter også skulle få en opp for Jesus og Messias, og at de skulle få sitte av det her som vi da har funnet privilegiet med å oppleve at det er så vidt av funnet fra Tøymen, så vi kunne gjøre etter til at det skal gjøre oss. Amen. Skal vi forberede av bønn, og skal vi forberede av at vi var sikna etter kvaldet, og også når vi skal gjøre det ned. Så gå og feier. Vi tar ikke der vi kunne samles i kvald, og jeg ber meg til å gjøre det kvald nå, at vi skal sikna etter kvaldet på alle måter, og at alt som omlegger kommer bra frem, at jeg vil inspirere til en annen til herre, og at vi skal tale at dere gjør det. Og at vi skal vite herre, at vi skal hjelpe dere, og at vi skal kunne være en hjelp for det. Før du utstrelte for jøterne her til å kunne vise deg av Messias, og vise deg at du er først han utvalde, du er kongel kongene, og her er vi kunne bære etter at du som vi da finner deg fra jødske falsken her, at året etter skal bli livende for deg her. Og det er nå ikke det som endte her, det skal bli livende for deg og feil. Så var sikten at du falsk, og be av fri i Jerusalem, var sikten av landet, og la deg akkurat som far her kunne være en sikning for deg, etter falsk og land. Og Jesus dør av navnet. Amen. Halleluja. So Omri, welcome. We are very happy to have you here, and uh, we look forward to hear you. God bless you. Thank you. Shalom, everyone. Shalom, Shalom yeah. Uh, it's a great privilege to be here this evening. Uh, we'll take probably the next hour, maybe a little bit more than that, uh, just to try. I'll tell a little bit about myself and my own testimony. We've heard Brooke on three miles, so I'm going to listen more. At for Taylor's interview, me and my ex-man Wittenspor. We'll talk a little bit from the scriptures. That's always the most important part. And at the end, we will introduce a wonderful ministry opportunity. That even people like yourselves here in the Faroe Islands can reach... Can you, participate in reaching out to God's people, the Jews. Uh, so firstly, a little bit about myself. First, uh, My name is Omri. Omri. Those of you who know your Bible well may remember that Omri was actually a very bad king in the Bible. In fact, Omri was the worst king of Israel. Only his son, Achab, the one who married Jezebel, he actually superseded him. But until his time, Omri was the worst king of Israel. So sometimes when I meet with Bible-believing Christians, and they ask me for my name, and they know the scriptures well, and I say Omri, they always give me this look. And I can already tell what they're thinking. They're thinking who would call their son Omri. Don't they know what a bad king he was in the Bible? But actually there's a very good reason why my parents called me Omri. Three times a year. Pesach, Shavuot, Vesukot, Passover, Pentecost, and the Feast of Tabernacles. The Jewish people used to bring the harvest to the temple in Jerusalem. Now the harvest, is, the harvest is called in Hebrew Omer, O-M-E-R. Omer. I happened to be born on the day of Pentecost. So my parents called me Omri. It means literally my Omer, my harvest, is unto God. Again, because I was born on the day of Pentecost. So you can all take a deep breath now and relax, okay? Now I grew up in a secular kibbutz in Israel. You all know what a kibbutz is? Yes? Yeah. Let's say briefly, a kibbutz is a communal way of living. 
There are over 300 different kibbutzim in Israel. Kibbutzim were based on pure communism. Not what became later on in China or Russia. But the motto behind the kibbutz was everybody gives as much as they can and receives as much as they need. Just like how we read the early disciples had it in the book of Acts. When we read that they sold everything they had and they had everything in commune. Now, anybody here been to Israel? Who's been to Israel? I see the problem. You probably said only people who've been to Israel can come to the meeting. Well, it's, it's great to see so many of you have been to Israel. Location-wise, uh, the kibbutz where I grew up in uh, is 10 minutes drive southeast of Mount Carmel. Carmel. If you remember, that's where Elijah slew the false prophets of Baal and Asherah. And it's 10 minutes drive northwest of Mount Megiddo. Armageddon, huh? Armageddon. Nazareth, where Messiah has been brought up. It's only about half an hour drive. You can actually see Nazareth from my kibbutz. Now, kids in Israel today, like kids in most other countries around the world, we all go to kindergarten, then we go to school, primary school, high school. But unlike most other countries around the world, in Israel, when we finish high school, we all go to the army. It's compulsory in Israel. Two years for women and three years for men. And what people in Israel do as they finish their military service, they take what you may call here in the Faroe Islands a gap year or a year off. When they go and travel around the world, try to forget a little bit about their time in the army, experiencing and exploring the world. Now, I know it's very hard to believe, but it's already been more than 25 years since I finished my military service in Israel. This was back in November 1992. Now, I remember finishing my military service. I just had no idea at all what it was that I wanted to do in my life. You can probably sum up my situation back then as follows. I was a little bit here, a little bit there. I was everywhere, but nowhere really in particular. At some point I decided to buy myself a ticket around the world. And, and go travel. My ticket uh, went from Israel to Thailand, Australia, New Zealand. And then through the Pacific Islands, Fiji, Tonga, Hawaii, to the US and back to Israel. Never in my life have I ever dared to dream that on my travels I will find out what my reason or my purpose was. But I surely hope that maybe on my travels I will find out what it was that I wanted to do in my life. I left Israel almost 22 years ago. This was back at the end of November 1996. I started my travels in Thailand. I was there for maybe about five weeks or so. And in early January 1997, I landed in Sydney, Australia. 
the next five months or so I spent in Australia. Det var nästa fem månader när jag var i Australien. And on the 10th of June 1997, 13 juni 1997, I had a flight from Melbourne, Australia to Christchurch, New Zealand. Flyer from Melbourne, Australia till Christchurch, New Zealand. Firstly, some of you may wonder now how come you remember the date only the 10th of June. Så det kanske nog är som i varje stycke så blir det till att du minns akkurat det datum. It's very easy. Det är väl nämnt. It's my birthday. Det funkar där så If you noticed before I said that I was born on the day of Pentecost. Det kanske menar att jag säger att du fattar att jag kvitt såna. Some of you may wonder now wait, you said the day of Pentecost, now you say the 10th of June. Why don't you decide on when were you born? Så det kanske nog som också att du säger kvitt såna nu så det tycks inte ju ni och det var bestämt. Well actually it's the same. Um det är faktiskt samma. We just have two different calendars. Vi har bara ett för imska kalender. You have the Jewish calendar. Det är judiska kalender. And you have the Christian calendar. Det är den kristna kalender. Every 19 years they meet. Nu är det inte kvar så mycket att säga. On the 10th of June 1970, when I was born. Tusen dagar juni nu jag var fattar. It was the day of Pentecost. Var tar du ut från där? So on my 27th birthday, I had a flight from Melbourne, Australia, to Christchurch, New Zealand. Så han där inne fyllde sig ju att fly från Melbourne till Christchurch. First thing I want you to take note of is the name of the city, okay? Christchurch, huh? Ja, det första vill ha dig knallar jag mest till till namnet och bojen under fartil, Christchurch. How do you say that in Pharisees? Christus Christchurch. Something like that. Now, if you remember the last words Messiah ever spoken. Ja, det kan ska minna oss att det första som Messias när han säger var. Just before he was ascended into heaven. Är han för ofta mas? In Acts 1:8, he said to the disciples. We apostles in Acts 8:8 say, "And we learn from there." But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. At this school of power, craft, I highlight Anton to be with you. And you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria. At this school of power, learn from there. Yeah, on board with me. We said. Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria. Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria. And unto the outermost parts of the earth. Or till enda jorden. Now, if you start from Jerusalem, Israel, is it the Bay of Jerusalem, Israel? Where is the outermost parts of the earth? Where is the outermost parts of the earth? Maybe somewhere in the Faroe Islands, huh? Can't go to Faroe Islands. Christchurch, New Zealand. Christchurch, New Zealand. Literally, the furthest most city on the face of the globe from Jerusalem. Did you know that? 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 That's very disappointing. Det är en skuffande. But don't feel too bad. Man följer dig inte för ett lag. Because I didn't know it back then either. Jag visste det inte då. And even most New Zealanders don't know that. Och flest av New Zealanders vet att det helt inte. On my 27th birthday, I landed in Christchurch, New Zealand. Han där inne följde jag ju landet i Christchurch. Even though so many things you read in your Bibles happen just a stone's throw away from where I've been brought up. Så att när jag tar en tänk nu som Lyste bypen är hänt och bär ett stöjnkast här för att vara mer uppvaksen. Still, God needed to take me literally to the outermost parts of the earth. Så tog han med lyckas han till enda hjärnan. In order to start revealing himself to me. För att han kunde uppenbära sig för mig. Now, New Zealand is combined of two main islands. The North Island and the South Island. New Zealand är samma sätt att tvärmån och tvärmån och tvärmån, norr och sur och tvärmån. How original, ha? Väldigt originalt, ha? Christchurch is the main city of the South Island. Christchurch is the host city in the South Island. Wellington is the capital. It's at the bottom of the North Island. Wellington is the host town, and he is the host town in the North Island. In Auckland, that's the biggest city. It's the north part of the North Island of New Zealand. Auckland, which is the biggest city, is the northernmost in the North Island. Six weeks later, after arriving to New Zealand, six weeks after I was coming to New Zealand, I arrived to the top, further north. Of New Zealand to a town called Paihia. Ta komme til den nordeste punktet af Nordøtne til den bysmæt. Paihia. Paihia. It means in Maori good here. Ta mæsker af Maori gør good here. Godt her. Now it's a very small town. Det er lidt lille by. Very beautiful town. Fantastisk flotter. Very touristic town in the summer. But I got there in early August '97 in the southern hemisphere. This is now the middle of winter. I come here in August, and it's the middle of winter. So cold. 
So hardly okay. any hardly any tourists around. So there was not even fair folk. Let alone anyone from Israel. Och släkt av från Israel. But it was in that town, it's a hostel where I stayed. Men där var jag som bor i någon och jag snör vattenhem som jag bor i. That's where I came to saving faith in Messiah. Att jag kom till tryck på Messias. I stayed in a hostel that was run by a Gentile woman, a non-Jewish woman. Jag bor i en någon vattenhem som var som en hötningar. This wo- this woman was Dutch. Hon var holländsk. And this woman, she shared the gospel with me. Och hentan konan hon talade evangelium med. But thank God she never talked to me about Christianity. Men du bättre så snakkar hon inte vid mig om kristendom. Thank God she never talked to me about Jesus either. Och hon nämnde inte om Jesus heller. Du bättre. You're probably wondering now what kind of gospel did she give you, huh? Så jag skulle kanske gå i kvarteret för evangelium hon gav mig. Well, she did talk to me about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Ja, hon snakkar om Gud och Abraham, Isak och Jakob. She talked to me about the God of Israel. Hon talade med om Gud och Israel. She talked to me about the promised Jewish Messiah. Hon talade med om han lovade judiska messias. That was foretold by the Hebrew prophets in the Hebrew scriptures. Som profeterna snakkar om och i de hebreiska skrifterna. And I understood instinctively if what she's telling me is the truth. Och det skilte är instinktivt att visst det hon berättar mig är sant. If this is the truth. Visst det är sant. Maybe this is what I've been searching for all my life. Så att jag kanske ska ta mig och lyfta ett att lyfta. My trip continues from New Zealand to Fiji, Tonga, Hawaii. Och jag får vara i Fiji, Tonga och Hawaii. But all, the, all these thoughts now just flew out the window. I didn't care much about it anymore. No, hoxa is more om att jag. I decided to go to Auckland to extend my visa and to look deeper into this. Ja, jag tänker så för att Auckland för att få lunch med visa att vara långt i New Zealand. Again, maybe this is what I've been searching for all my life. Att så var det kanske akkurat hette som jag har lättat att lyfta. It only took five minutes at the immigration office in Auckland. Och det tog bara fem minuter i inflytande av kontoren i Auckland. And I was granted with nine more months visa for New Zealand. Så fick jag ett visa som var till nio månader att säga. Now this Dutch woman at the hostel, she said to me. Men den här konan och den holländska konan och vattlar hem någon säger. Omri, she said, when you go to Auckland in the city center area, there's a Christian bookshop. Att du tar det först till Auckland, mitt i nybyn och här är en Christian bokhandel. Why don't you go, Omri, check it out? För in här och kan ha tandhandeln. Try to picture this awkward situation to yourselves, okay? Det kan rena oj men det kan se ont alla stövna. How is this very arrogant 27 years old Israeli walking into a Christian bookshop in downtown Auckland? Ja, det är ont i evil att ni gör den för in i en kristna handel mitt i Auckland. It's a Christian uh, bookshop I was greatly surprised. Och in i en bokhand om var ju ivraska av. But guess what? Ja, gita kvart. They had the Bible. Att det hade Bibeln. Now we Jews, when we talk about the Bible, we normally talk only about the Tanakh, right? The Old Testament. But as a Christian bookshop, they had the entire Bible. They had both the Tanakh, the Old Testament. Together with the Brit Chadasha, the New Testament. In one copy, in one book. And you know what? It gets even better. They even had it in my own mother tongue, which is Hebrew. Now, never before I ever read the New Testament. I never read any gospel and I never read any epistle. For the, for the first time in my life, I have the New Testament in Hebrew in my hand. Before opening it up for the first time in my life. Och är ni öppnade för först för lunden? What do you think I thought the New Testament was? Kvar halt att hitta så att är helt att något av det inte var. I'll tell you. Ja, tack när du säger det kom. At the time I thought that the New Testament was. Ta helt att något av det inte var. The Christian manual or the Christian handbook. Den kristna handboken eller manualen. For the persecution of the Jews. För att förfölja judarna. Many Christians, when they hear me say that, they always look so shocked. And I always wonder, why are you looking so shocked? After all, in the last 2,000 years, Gentile Christians have been persecuting us, the Jews, in the name of Jesus. 
Christian forfølte ham kun i Jesu navn. With the church and the cross behind them. Vi kysser nu og krossen og natten for sig. Maybe I'll tell you more what I thought I'm going to find in the New Testament, okay? Kan jeg fortælle dig noget lidt om hvad andre svante for at finde i Nye Testament? Just that you, the Gentiles, understand us the Jews a little bit better. For at hit så at hit hætningers skilja og kan gøre det nu bedre. I thought I'm going to read about crusaders and inquisitors in Spain. I helt at for at læse om crossfarer og inquisitorer i Spanien, tror som forfølte dem. I thought I'm going to read about pogroms in Russia and Nazis in Germany. Og at for at læse om forfølgning i Rusland og Tyskland. I thought I'm I'm going to read about nuns and priests. At for at læse om nonner og præster. I thought I'm going to read about Christmas and Easter. At for at læse om jul og påsker. You know what? Hvad skal jeg? None of these I ever read in this book. Jeg læs onche af to i jeres børn. None. Onche. Instead, I read about my own people, the Jews. Jeg står i fire og læs om et ægne for at gøre det. I read about my own country, Israel. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I read about places just a stone's throw away from where I grew up. I I read about my own people going to the synagogue on the Sabbath. I read about my people going up to Jerusalem three times a year, a year on Passover, Pentecost, and the Feast of Tabernacles. This book was as far as the east is from the west of what I expected to find in its pages. And the Bible were so length from Esther to Esther. Uh, og hvad er jeg vant til for at stande i her? I expected to find hatred and persecutions. Jeg vant til at få finde hætter og forfølging. Yet I found love and acceptance and forgiveness. Men jeg fandt kærlighed og at være godtidig og fyrgjøring. I thought this book was is full of lies. I helt af børnene var fuld af liknon. Yet I found the truth there. Men jeg fandt sandheden. I have a question for you. Jeg har spurgt en til kære. You don't have to answer me here. Det ne, det er jo ikke for nogen at svare mig her. But please think about it when you go home. Men jeg må da ta os at hukse om det her for øjen. How did you, I don't mean specifically you, you, but you, the Gentiles, the Christians. Hvordan har du gjort det til kristendom? How did you manage in the last 2,000 years? Hvordan har du klaret til om de siste 2,000 årene? To take this Jewish book. At takke hesse jødiske bøgsene. You know it's a Jewish book? Til vidt at det er en jødisk bøg. Yes. Written entirely by Jews. Som er skrevet af som er af jøderne. And for Jewish people first, by the way. Og først og fremmest til jøderne. Not for Jewish people only. Det er bare jøderne. But for Jewish people first. Nej, for her først. How did you manage to take this Jewish book? Har du så klaret det at tage sig jødiske bøgsne? And made it to be so gentile. Og klaret det at det er vær så højtne. So that we, the Jews, we can't even relate to it anymore. So we do not understand how to feel about it any longer. Not something worth thinking about. It is not something worth talking about. You know, when I came to faith in Messiah, that I come to the trick of Messiah. Never before I met any other Israelis or Jews who believed Yeshua, Jesus, was a Messiah. That he only knew of one Jew who believed in Yeshua. I never even heard of anyone. I thought that I was the only Israeli, the only Jew in the whole wide world who believed Yeshua, Jesus, was a Messiah. Try to picture this to yourself. It's not like it happened in Israel. Again, it happened in New Zealand, literally the outermost parts of the earth. Different country, different culture, different people, different language. Det er andre folk, andre land, andre mennesker. The sense was so strong right from the start. Og det kendte var så stærk fra byen af. From the moment I came to faith. Fra at jeg lærte mig at komme til kirke. The desire that I had to tell my people. Så var han 
strong to the Not to you. Not to the people of the Faroe Islands. Not to the people, the Germans or the French or the English. But to tell my people, the Jews, the children of Israel, about our long rejected and forgotten Messiah. This is what I dedicated the last 20 plus years of my life. The salvation of my people, Israel, the Jews. And especially in training you, the Gentiles, the non-Jewish people. For what I clearly believe is your God-given task and call to bring back the gospel not just to where it first came from but where to also where it first belongs. Everybody knows Romans 1.16 for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Messiah for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes now most people stop there what's the problem with that? well the verse never stopped there the verse goes on to say to the Jew first and also to the Gentiles. To the Jew first. And also to the Gentiles. This is what we're going to talk about this evening. We're going to talk about the importance and significance of Jewish evangelism. Why it's important. Is it important? Maybe it's only important to me because I'm Israeli, because I'm Jewish. Well, I'm going to have some questions I'm going to ask you. Now, we Jews, we love asking questions. Now, sometimes we Jews, when we ask a question, we want to get an answer. But sometimes when we Jews ask a question, we don't want to get an answer. We just try to make a point. We just try to get our hearers have a bit of a think about things. Don't worry, I'll tell you when I want to get your answer and when I don't, okay? My first question to you. And this time I'd love to have your answer. The people that gathered here this evening for this meeting, are you really looking forward for Messiah to return? You believe one day Messiah will both visibly and physically return to this world? You believe he's coming back? Yes. yes. Are you looking forward to the day? Are you praying, come Lord Jesus, Maranatha? That leads me to my next question. But this time I don't want your answer. I just want you to think. What is the one thing and one thing only that must happen? And until that one thing happens, Messiah will never ever both visibly and physically return to earth to reign for a thousand years. So Chemur Messias Isha Ahtur Shanlia and you know what when Messiah comes back to this world he will not be reigning from New York or Moscow or Berlin not even from Rome, Paris or London not even somewhere from the Faroe Islands either but he will be reigning from Jerusalem, Israel, right? what is the one thing that must happen for Messiah to both visibly and physically return to this world? When I ask this question, Bible-believing Christians, 
tá ir spurr spurr ja hendar spurningen um tá ir bibli trikvande kristen more than 90% more than 95% perhaps even 95% of the people they say to me kanska 95% se avme omri they say the bible says omri se ade bibli as ir the bible says the gospel will be preached to all the nations and then the end will come a bibli as ir at angelia vil pratka fyr allum falch i heimnon og so kemer han there's lots of truth in that statement. But this statement is not the truth. Please let me explain. Let's do a little bit of an illustration here, okay? Let's say the gospel has indeed been preached to all the nations. Let's not stop there. Let's take this one step further. Let's say all the nations of the earth coming to saving faith in Messiah. Let us see at other blue and trickwand. Even if we take that one extra step further. Or shall we take a test here where? All the nations of the earth are now on their knees crying out for Messiah to return. At other show we are now a knee or they is rope after that Messiah shall come after. Try to picture that to yourself just for a second. Prova att umenda det kom till. Wouldn't that be an amazing sight? I think sure fantastic as hell. It would be, huh? Yes. But only one small problem. Men det är bara en liten trubbelaje. Messiah still doesn't come back. Att Messias kommer inte. So I'm just going to give it to you as plainly and as simple as I possibly can. Så jag får det att jag tycker att det är så enkelt som jag kan. But just like the first coming of Messiah to this world, like as some first for Messias come to heaven. So does the second coming of Messiah to this world. Så är vi satt nu kom nu istället. It has nothing to do whatsoever at all. With the Gentile world, but it has everything to do with Israel and the Jews. Matthew twenty-three thirty-nine. Matthew three two. No, just that. Please remember, Messiah was speaking to the Jews at the time. Men till att Messias snackar ju utan att han. He didn't speak to any other group of people. Han snackar inte till någon annan. And to the Jews, Messiah said in Matthew twenty-three thirty-nine. Och här säger han vi utan att. You, meaning the Jews. Tid och många vi utan att. You will see me no more. Tid för inte att sluta med mig. Until you, again the Jews. Until tid och att du tid utan att. Until you say. Until tid säger han. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai. Blessed is he who comes. In the name of the Lord. I think now we're hands from Chemur or God's name. He was quoting from Psalm 118, verse 26. And Shetera from Psalm 119. This messianic greeting. This messianic lesson. Now, how will the Jews call upon him whom they have not heard? How will they hear without a preacher, without somebody sharing with them? Once we understand that Messiah will never, ever, both visibly and physically return to earth to reign for a thousand years, without the entire nation of Israel calling up on him, on him to do so, once we understand that, we start getting small, tiny little glimpses of the importance and significance of Jewish evangelism. In fact, I believe it's the most important thing you can ever read about in your Bibles. Apart, of course, from the character of God or who the Messiah is. But apart from that, the most important thing you can ever read about in your Bibles is about bringing the gospel to the Jews. And it's not because I'm Israeli. And it's not because I'm Jewish. But because of one small, tiny little reason. Which is without the salvation of Israel there is no salvation to the world. Whether you the Gentiles like it or not. 
whether you the Gentiles believe in it or not. Om te tycka det är lite. Again, without the salvation of Israel. After, utan att Israel är frälst. There is no salvation to the world. Så är inte frälsta till resten av världen. Messiah himself said salvation is of the Jews. Messiah säger självor att frälsan kommer från judarna. When all Israel will be saved. Ta i allt Israel är frälst. The whole world will be saved. Så är alla hemmen frälsta. Let's put that aside. Ja, nu låt jag tacka Lukas och Sina. Let's start another avenue. Så får vi ta en annan väg. The Apostle Paul. Paulus apostel. The Gentiles love the Apostle Paul. Ja, eh, jag tycker att jag älskar Paulus. You love Paul, don't you? Det älskar Paulus. I always hear the Gentiles boasting in Paul. I hör att de folk rejpa av Paulus. They said Paul here and Paul there. Det säger Paulus här, Paulus här. They said Paul said this and Paul said that. Och det säger att Paulus säger hitta och han säger hitta. I tell you what, I'm going to show you some things this evening that Paul have said. Ska vi se några några ting som Paulus har sagt? That perhaps you accidentally overlooked. Som du kanske av övervägt har ivsat. Perhaps you even deliberately ignored. Som du kanske vi vilja inte har vilja lagt mest till. But in Romans 11:11, your beloved the apostle Paul wrote. Och i Romeo Brown ettlo ettlo här skriver att jag älskar Paulus. Salvation has come to the Gentiles. Att frälsan är kommen till ytterligare. So that's you, right? Till Tita. In order to provoke them, speaking of the Jews, to jealousy. Ja. För att Jötan skulle bli va omskjut. Did you realize that this is one of the reasons why you were saved? Visste du att det är en av grunden till att vi är frälst? Maybe not the only reason. Kanske inte den enda grunden. Maybe not even the main reason. Kanske heller inte huvudgrunden. But one of the reasons why each and every one of you sitting here has been saved. Men en av grunden till att alla som sitter här är frälst. If you're truly, truly saved. Visst är det ordliga frälst. Is because now God desires to use you, the Gentiles. Är det är det att God Jonas brukar hotningar nej. In order to provoke his covenant people the Jews back to jealousy. För att provokera Jotan efter till att bli övensjuk. Romans 11:11. Romans brukar ett och ett. But when we observe the last 2000 years of church history with the Jews. Men det heter att det tar sig ett och snarare vi vi sam eller vi tycker så nu som vi gör nu. We don't see you the Christians provoking us the Jews to jealousy at all. Så så jag det här att till kristna rönna få åkna över ömsjuk. In fact, if we're going to be honest, vi ska skulle hålla ärlig. Can we be honest? Kan vi vara ärlig? If we're going to be honest in the last 2000 years, vi ska vara ärlig i de sista 2000 åren. The Christian church have only been provoking us the Jews. Så har vår den kristna kyrkan bara provokerat oss. In the last 2000 years we the Jews have been hated and persecuted not just more than any other people group on the face of this earth. De sista två snarare är vi blivit provokerade och förfällt som en balkor. But more than all the other people groups combined. Mer än alla är falska balkar tillsammans. 95% of those persecutions of the Jews. 95% av vilkens nu gjort nu. In the last 2000 years has not been done by Muslims or ISIS. De sista två snarare är inte just av muslimerna eller ISIS. But by gentle people calling themselves Christians. Men av att någon som kallar sig kristen. Killing us the Jews in the name of Jesus. Som har drivit oss om i Jesu namn. With the church and the cross behind them. Vi kyrkjer nu krossen med att han. Let's sum it all up together now. Låt oss lycka att tacka samma nomator. When we understand that it's only when the nation of Israel call upon Messiah to return that he comes back. Ta vi kyrkja att här att det bara tar i jödiska falsche. Roper efter Messias och Komator. When we understand that your call from Romans 11:11 as Gentiles is to provoke the Jews to jealousy. Det är skilja till att Romer och Roper ett och ett och är det som ett kattel till att göra jötan är shalom. And when we remember the last 2,000 years of church history with the Jews. Och tar vi minnas till att sista 2,000 år av kyrkjösen och samma jötan. We must conclude. Så må vi komma till att nyrsta och. That you. The, the Christians have to give us the Jews a completely different picture. So what did the Christian Jew or Kyoto hold the argument? To what you have given us in the last two thousand years. Or in Montel, what did the Jew or Kyoto say to Israel? 
let's put that aside also. Jag ska nog lägga sig att det är så. I have some more questions. Jag har också frågor jag rätt. Who do you think is the greatest nation in the world? Vad alla det är största chauen i hemma. Most people would say it must be the Americans. Flesta folk har sagt att det är amerikaner. Some would say it's the Russians or the Chinese or the Germans. Och jag kan också sagt ryssar, kineser eller tyskar. I'm sure that some would say it must be the French. They won the World Cup football just recently. Och jag kan också sagt Frankrike och tar akra vunnit HM fotboll. But I will tell you who is the greatest nation in the world. Jag får se den kvar chau är den största i hemma. It's us the Jews. Till vi det gör det. I'm going to prove it to you also. Do you know that we the Jews we lead the world today in every area possible? Every area possible. Okay, maybe apart from sports. Kanske undan till ju utrat. But in science and medicine. We wishent och medicin. In agriculture and irrigation systems and high tech. Ja, lampan är och vattningssystem och high tech. The number of Nobel Prize winners among the Jews. Ja, tala om Nobelvinnaren i miljöter. Are on parallel to the number of the Jews in the population of the earth. Kan kan säga samma berast vi är andra folk. Less than 0.5 percent of the population of the earth are Jews. Men det är no comma fem percent. Less than 0.5 percent of the population of the earth are Jews. Men det är no comma fem percent av folken i hemma i Jordan. Yet 22 percent of Nobel Prize winners of all fields are Jews. Men 22 percent av alla Nobel och högst lönen är lätt nu Jordan. This is unheard of. Fullkomlig ohör. This is like the number of the Chinese in the world, okay? Att det är det som talar av kineserna i hemma. But you know what? Vi tar det. That's not even the greatest thing that we the Jews gave the world. I don't know if you've noticed but I'm kind of proud being a Jew, huh? Det är kanske lagt mest till att i rättle stolt över att göra det. But did you know that we the Jews we gave the world the prophets and the apostles? Visst det är att vi de gör gav ut kon eh evangelisterna och profeterna. We Jews we gave the world the scriptures. Att vi gjorde en gav och hem någon skriften. And above all we Jews we gave the world Messiah himself. Och över allt så gav vi hem någon Messias själva. In fact we the Jews we gave the world more than all the other people groups combined. Ja, väl kan så har vi Jews vi hem någon mer än alla andra folk tillsammans. That leads me to my next point. Och ta lägg mig till den nästa punkten jag har. Because for many years this was like a mystery to me. For years I couldn't understand. For years I couldn't comprehend. For years, no matter what road I took, whatever what angle I took, I always got to a dead end. How is it possible? How can we explain? That the greatest nation in the world suffer hatred and persecution more than all the other people groups combined. Skaluja så någ under förfilching och hater as mycket än än att låna för. This just doesn't make sense at all, does it? Att det är en gammal mening, ja. Wouldn't you expect the world to show God and His covenant people, the Jews, some love and appreciation and gratitude? Men jag såg när vi tog att folk skulle vuxt kärleka till han som gav Messias. For all that God Himself has accomplished through His chosen race. För allt här som Gud har uppnått genom sitt utvalda folk. I would expect that. Yeah, jag när vi tog. But it's not what we see at all. Men det släcks här vi såg. We see nothing but hatred and venom and persecution. Vi såg inte annat att han hatar och gift och förfilching. Is there any possible answer to this? Är det några spår eller svårare att lätta er? I believe that there is only one possible explanation. Jag tror att det är bara en möjlig förklaring. We have to understand this from a spiritual perspective. Vi måste skilja detta från en annan del av generationen. You know, God, He has His own plans and purposes. God har sina egna attlander och ändå mål. And Satan, He has His own counterfeit plans and purposes. Och Satan har sina sina planer och sina. Now, Satan understands something. Satan skildrar något. 
that 99% of professing Christians do not understand. Som 95% av dem som säger sig vara tryggande inte skilja. He understands something that 99% of professing Christians maybe even refuse to understand. Och han skiljer nog att som kanske 95% av de kristna nakta att skilja. And that is er, that the Jewish people are God's key to the salvation of the whole world. This is why he's trying to get rid of us, the Jews, all throughout history. At first, before Messiah came, he tried to prevent Messiah from even being born. An example in the scriptures in the Old Testament would be with Haman, Haman, right? During the time of Queen Esther and Mordecai. And in modern history will be an example will be with Nazi Germany and Hitler. Because Satan knows that if he's able to get rid of all the Jews from the face of this earth, he has proven that God is a liar. So you believe in the new covenant? You do? Yeah. From Jeremiah chapter 31. The new covenant that God has promised uh, the church or the people of the Faroe Islands. No. He promised it to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. No, he that the house of Israel and Judah. And right after that, at the end of chapter 31, God said that as long as you see the sun and the moon and the stars running in their courses above, as long as you see that, God would always leave a remnant to his people, Israel. So for so if Satan can get rid of all the Jews from the face of this earth, so Satan slipper away all the Jews from the face he has proven that God is a liar. So here I'm praying for a God and like that. But even more than that, but even more than that, if all the Jews are gone from the face of this earth, if all the Jews are gone, who will call Messiah to return? Who will show that the hope after Messiah shall come after? Satan's career will eternally remain here on earth. So for Satan, I will be here in heaven on earth. This is why Satan is trying viciously to get rid of all the Jews throughout history. Because Satan knows the word of God. Because Satan believes the word of God. Now you are part of this game. If you like it or not. If you believe in it or not. You are part of this game. In reality, there's only two things what you can do. You can either go out of your way and bless the Jews. Or you can, on the other hand, curse the Jews. You know, most of professing Christians around the world, they don't, they don't do either. They don't go out of the way to bless us, the Jews. For sure, they don't. On the other hand, also, they don't curse us, the Jews. They simply try, if they can, to ignore us, the Jews. But let me tell you something. Perhaps, as an Israeli, as a Jew, perhaps the best way for me to see where a Gentile Christian stand before God is to observe the way they treat God's people, the Jews. In other words, the way you treat the Jews 
Martin, du behandler jøderne på. Is a reflection of the way you treat the king of the Jews. Auspekler Gud så det behandler konge jøderne. The way you treat Israel. Martin, du behandler jøderne på. Is a reflection of the way you treat the God of Israel. Is a of the way you treat the God of Israel. Er en afspejling af, hvis vi behandler godt og sjældent. When you bless the Jews, you bless the King of the Jews. Træt det, hvad sikker når jorden er, så hvad sikker når det kanker jorden. When you curse the Jews, you curse the King of the Jews. Der var banner jorden, og så banner man, hvad sikker kanker jorden. And when you ignore the Jews, og der det ignorerer jorden er, you also ignore the King of the Jews. Så ignorerer det, hvis ne This is something that the Christian Church completely forgot. Det er noget som den kristne kirke har fuldkommen glemt. They completely forgot whom it is that they themselves claim to follow and worship. Hvor er glemt, kan det ersten tage sig at de fylder og tilbyder. They forgot that this is the King of the Jews. Det er glemt at det er kongen af dem. Jesus is my personal Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Jesus er min personlige fredsherre. That's all they know in the Christian churches. Det er alt det, som de ved i kristne kirker. Have you made Jesus to be your personal Lord and Savior? Har du fundet Jesus som tager af personlige herre og fredsherre? Have you? Har du det? I hope you have. Har du det? Det har jeg. Wonderful. Fantastisk. But can I tell you something? Jeg kan sige det, Nika. He can't even be your personal Lord and Savior. Man kan ikke være tikker af fredsherre og ja, hvor er det? If he wasn't the King of the Jews first. Vi skal ikke være konge af den afhist. Because he is the King of the Jews. Tror jeg at han er konge af den. You. Så må du hit. Even here in the Faroe Islands. Skal du her i Færøerne? You can make him to be also your personal Lord and Savior. So, so go and teach Jer until he takes a hero of Lesser. Never forget that. Glory is there. The way you treat the Jews, Martin, we behandle Jordaner, is a reflection of how you treat the King of the Jews. Aspect like we should be behandle Konka Jordaner. The way you treat Israel, Martin, we behandle Israel, pa. Is a reflection of the way you treat the God of Israel. Er en aspect like we should be behandle. Kanskje noe selv. Nå, jeg er ikke her til å kondemme deg. Jeg er ikke her for å fordømme deg. Jeg er ikke her for å fortelle deg hvor bedre du har vært i de siste 2000 årene. Jeg er ikke her for å fortelle deg hvordan forferdelig du har vært i de siste 2000 årene. Jeg er her for å challenge deg. Jeg er her for å utfordre deg. Jeg er her for å støre deg litt. Jeg er her for å kjøre seg rundt deg. Jeg er her for å inkarage deg. Jeg er her for å oppmuntre deg. Jeg er her for å oppmuntre deg, kanskje, kanskje. To inspire you. Well, now dear, you're asking here for you to inspire me. I am here to tell you. You're here for us here, Dickon. How God longs and desires. Because God launches after. To use you. At broke at Dickon. In far greater ways and measures you ever even dared to dream. A story you might have and did a night and dreamt of. Not just in your own home or family. Ikke bare at du ikke har noe høy med i familien. Not just in your own job or business. Ikke bare i arbeidet noen. Not just in your own church or community. Og heller ikke bare at du ikke har noe samkommet og i nærsamfunnet. But you can be influential in God's plans for the salvation of the whole world. Men det kan du ha avskan av at han har ikke gått av flest at han har høy med. You can actually, I'm here to tell you, you can actually hasten the return of Messiah. Det kan enda sette fyr av at But this has to do with Israel and the Jews. You said before, "Come, Lord Jesus, Maranatha," didn't you? Tid sat to Aaron, come no Messias. You still mean that? Mana did ta en. He will never return without his people, the Jews calling up on him. What are you willing to do for that? Kvæt det til Jera fyrt her. This one I would like to introduce to you. I tell you, Herr Schmidjana will tell you, Tico. What I believe is the greatest outreach in the whole world to the Jewish people. That's me. I hold it the best outreach till Jutska Falche. A network called HIT. HIT. It stands for Hosting Israeli Travelers. They are HIT, so stand for Hosting Israeli Travelers. So my first name is Jack Huisa. I've been running this network in New Zealand now for 18 and a half years. 
In the first 14 years, we only worked in New Zealand. First on the first hour, we were with Barry in New Zealand. But in the last four years, our network has gone internationally. Men de första fyra åren är vi färdiga som allt jag var. In fact, this is why we came here to the Faroe Islands. Här vill jag gå nästan till. Vi kommer här till. We are here to set up the hosting network, even here. Ja. Vi där kommer här just att börja något allt vi färdiga. Now, what's so exciting about the heat network? You may wonder to yourselves. Det kan jag också. Kvar är det som är så spännande vi har i det. Is that because you're running this network, Omri? Är det att du kör det här nätverket, Omri? No. Nej. Couldn't be further from the truth. Jag kunde inte vara längre från sannolikheten. I tell you what's exciting about the heat network. Jag ska fortsätta den kvar är så spännande vi är snäll. That in the last 18 years in New Zealand. Det sista åtton åren i New Zealand. And in the last four years in any other country on the face of this earth. Och det sista fyra åren i alla land om i hemnen. Even now here in the Faroe Islands. Just here i Faroe nu. Gentile people like yourselves. Så är det. Lovers of the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Som älskar Gud Abraham, Isaac och Jakob. Lovers of the God of Israel. Som älskar Gud och Israel. True followers of the Jewish Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus. Sanna fältar är ju Jesus. That now with us and through us. Samma vi också nu jag nu kan. You can become missionaries to the Jews. Kan du typ leva missionärer för jätten? Guess what? Och gjort det kvar. Without even leaving your homes. Utan att ta affärer ut ur det egna hemmet. Now how exciting is that, huh? Ja, så spännande är det här. Missionaries to the Jews. Missionärer för jätten. Without even leaving your homes. Utan att ta affärer ut ur det egna hemmet. You know, I believe the title missionary to the Jews. Jag har alltid att ha ett missionär för jätten. Is the greatest title each and every one of you sitting here can ever hold. Det är det största höjtet som näkare av åkern sitter här kan du finna. Right after a servant of God. Point after no, ten are good. And it's not because I'm Israeli. Och det är inte att jag är Israeli. And it's not because I'm Jewish. Inte att jag är Jude. But because everything that you, the Gentiles, hold so dear to your hearts. Men det är att jag tid allt som tid Kristus har haltat så tätt att jag står nu. Everything which you consider to be beautiful. Allt som tid har haltat är pent, låt oss först. Everything you love and appreciate. Allt är som det älskar och sätter pris på. Everything you'll ever be willing to live for. Allt är som det att du är villig att leva för. And hopefully also everything you'll ever be willing to die for. Och vad är det allt är som det att du vill att dö för? Again, the prophets and the apostles. Att du profeterar och apostlarna. The scriptures. Och skriften. And above all, Messiah himself. Och och i allt här. Messias Shalvor. You received from us, from the Jews. Think it from Akon Yatno. Yes, I know from God. Yeah, it was from God then. But from God to us, the Jews. Man from God to the Yatno. And then from us, the Jews to the Gentiles. So from Yatno till Hatnigala. In fact, did you know that this is why your beloved, the Apostle Paul, wrote in Romans fifteen twenty-seven. That the two years the 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 Elskar of Paulus skrev i Romans Brown on fifteen twenty-seven. Fifteen, fifteen. That you, the Gentiles, are indebted to the Jews. That it had been going to have a shield, shield that you had known. Indebted to the Jews. It's in the Bible. Check it out. Romans fifteen twenty-seven. With with shield that you had known. Why does God want you, the Gentiles, to come to a place when you feel indebted to the Jews? Could we go to have a at what the Christian school come at the point where we feel that we have shield that you had known? Why? Why? So that I would feel better about myself. So that I can feel I'm better in my soul. No. Why? I'll tell you why. I'm going to see if I can clue. Because only when you come to a place when you feel indebted to the Jews. To be better, how should you come to a place where you feel that you can shield the Jews from that? Will you be willing to stand with Israel and the Jews against the whole world? För att det är väldigt hela stanta samma vi och Israel är mötter i hemna. And once again the whole world is coming against Israel and the Jews. Och ena för att säga så kommer att det hemma inte mötter Israel och Jordan. It is shocking to realize that only 73 years after the Holocaust was finished. Och det är chockerande att ensuta att tre av de här åtton av Holocaust. Today, 80 percent of United Nations decisions are against Israel and the Jews. Så är 40 procent av ötlande samtidigt om i Öster i möter 
against the greatest nation in the world against the nation who gave the world more than all the other people groups combined shame on this world shame on the united nations it's actually very simple the way it works people first they reject god Next thing, they reject the people of God. This is a time to stand with Israel and the Jews. This is a time to show your faithfulness to the God of Israel. This is a time to show your faithfulness to the King of the Jews. You know, I shared before, when I came to faith, my heart was for the salvation of my people. Can I tell you the truth? I am no longer concerned about the salvation of my people at all. Uh, I'm actually a lot more concerned about you. Uh, I'm actually a lot more concerned about your own families. I'm a lot more concerned about your own communities. I'm a lot more concerned about your own neighbors. And I'm a lot more concerned about your own nation. Did you know that there is only one nation in the whole world? Only one nation that has its future guaranteed. Which nation is that? It's Israel and the Jews. The only nation that has its future guaranteed. I am no longer concerned about the salvation of my people. You know why? <coughs> because the Bible guarantees the salvation of my people, Israel and the Jews. Romans 11, 26, the Apostle Paul writes that one day, yet future, but one day all Israel will be saved. If you as the Gentiles believe in it or not. If you the Gentiles like it or not. Now forget now about the love you may have for Israel and the Jews. It's not even important, did you know? But for the love that you have for your own families, for the love that you have for your own neighbors, for the love that you have for your own communities, and for the love that you have for your own nation, you better stand with Israel and the Jews. Because everyone that comes against the Jews is coming against the king of the Jews. And everyone that comes against Israel is coming against the God of Israel. Come and join us. I'd like to invite you to become missionaries to the Jews without even leaving your homes. It's not always going to be easy. But it would be very rewarding. If you want to do the will of God, you want God to bless you, your families, your neighbors, your communities, your nation. No better way to do than to bless the Jewish people. And there is absolutely nothing greater that you, the Gentiles, can bless us, the Jewish people, with than with our own Messiah indwelling in you. 
Burja tiku. Don't just keep it to yourselves. That's not love, okay? Halte ich für dich und schau, der ist Kerlaj. You have to give it back. Will you join us? Will you deliver us home with us? Will you show love and mercy and support and friendship to God's covenant people, the Jews? Will you wish a Kerlaj or or Vinarla till Jordan? Not because we Jews deserve it, we don't. Ich tue ja wie Jordan how the open border has to how it is. But you guys didn't deserve it either, did you? Man tät hat halt dich up for, ja. If you think you have it's a different gospel. Wisst ihr halt da, so er das Anna Evangelium. Today it's your turn to serve us the Jews and by so doing you serving the king of the Jews. Nu är det tack att höra till att han och hon gör dem och vi är gärna att så tänna det och sen kan ju göra det. You know in all my travels one thing around the world one thing I've learned I don't need to teach any Christian Och mer av det att jag förs runt om i hemnen att jag pjörst inte lära någon kristen. I can teach them a lot about the place of Israel in the Bible. Jag kan lära dem något om Israel i Bibeln. I can teach them a lot about Jewish evangelism. Jag kan lära dem något om judiska evangelisering. One thing I don't need to teach them at all. Och mer inte pjörst att lära dem ivrhå. In fact, I can learn a lot from them. Som jag faktiskt kan lära något från kristna. And that is how to be good hosts. You know, it doesn't take much. It only takes a serving attitude. I'm going to serve the Jews as if I was to serve the king of the Jews. Now, what's the name of this town here? What do you call it? Can you translate that? <laughs> yes. I suppose it's quite... Big, big dinero, right? If yeah. Messiah himself was to come and spend one night in your town here, this Messiah shall will come at very here at twelve. Would you have liked him to come into your own home? Had to will you have done in the ticker ekner house? Would you say, "Come, my door is open"? Had to say, "Come, hold and open." Or would you maybe send him to your neighbor? Had to have said, "Send him in the grandma." Maybe you would say, "Look, my neighbors get a better house." Det kanske sagt att grannen har bättre hus nu. Much better view. Nej, bättre utsikt. Much more comfortable beds. Bättre sängkor. His wife, my neighbor's wife, she's a much better cook. Och konan, så grannen då nej bättre jämnt. Or would you maybe invite him into your home? What would you do? Att låta det kanske bli en kommun till till ett äkna hus. Would you invite him home or send him to your neighbor? Att det blir någon in att låta sänta vår eller grannen. I hope you would have said come. Jag vill inte att det ska komma. I'll tell you the truth. Ska du se det kan man sanna gång? The Messiah of Israel won't come. Messiah, Messiah ska ursa, nej, Messiah ska ursa någonting. But his people will. Kommer det till men fast ju inte kommer. And Messiah himself said. Och Messiah sa över här. What you have done to this list of my brethren. Att ha sånt där just som minst då. He wasn't talking about the people of the Faroe Islands, huh? He was talking about his brethren according to the flesh, the Jews, the children of Israel. What you have done to this list of my brethren, you've done it unto me. Will you be the ones among the small, tiny little remnant in the church? The reward will be eternal. Learning how very early. The reward will be great. Oh, we learn over us and stay. Will you join us? We are to where we are come. Now I believe you trust you. I'm convinced you believe me. Now I can stand here for another hour or two or three. To trick on our two yet, I can't go stay here and for a trick on two more trust. Even without translation. Just us then, I'm saying. Sharing more stories and verses. Or for that server or. But I think that quiet enough has been said for tonight. I hold that knock is actually very good. Just in a few minutes, I want to introduce to you the hosting network. What does it actually mean? No, for you to tell you what it what it what it means for you to be a host. Firstly, hosting with us it doesn't mean you have to host everyone at any time. The message is that you should have a program. They can chat with them. Not just be there. It's always to our host discretion to take or refuse guests, whatever the reasons might be. There are the open the western show one attack in at least. Also, if you're hosting with us, it doesn't mean that you have to entertain your visitors throughout the day. 
Og det merker heldigvis til at hvis du har perstet oss ned, at vi skulle underholde følgene allan dagen. You don't have to take them on day trips, hunting, fishing, cycling, kayaking. Du behøver ikke fra å vite om det tur der, eller ut av fiske, eller vøyferd. You don't have to to cook for them, to provide them with food. Det er ikke nøyet at det gjør dem mat. You don't have to give them internet or laundry facilities. Det er ikke gjør dem internet eller vese, eller hva skal vi gjøre. You are free if you want to provide them any and even all the above and many, many more other extras if you so choose to. Det stendte frutt, så ikke hadde jeg kun hvert i bjørn til morgen, om det er Gjøre hattar eller moira tre hattar. But none of it is required. Men ikke er krevd. We only ask our host to provide the Israeli visitors with three basic things. Det er tre ting, grunnleggende ting vi gjerne vil ha, at vi gjør hva vi gjør hva vi gjør. Firstly, it's a bed. Først er det en sjank. Or maybe a couch, a fold-out couch, a mattress on the floor. Et eller en sofa, et eller en matrasse. Maybe even a place outside where they can put a tent or park with a camper van. That's also good. Etlat jeg kan få en plass å sette et helt da, etlat jeg har en campingvåg med. Toilets and showers that they can use. Ja, og et vers og brusor som jeg kan bruke. And a kitchen where they can cook. Og en køk her som jeg kan gjøre mat. That's all we ask. Det er det som vi bryr om. Our aim is to bring these non-believing Israelis Mali tjokken er at få jeg ser ikke trykkvante skjøleiene. Of all ages. Som har vært imerskan alt år. Into your homes. Inn i husen, kjære dykker. So that you can meet them and bless them. Så du kan møte dem og være sikkert av deg. Show them love and mercy and support and friendship. Og vise dem kærlige og vinnerlige. And when the opportunity presents itself. Og ta en møvelig til en ære. And at some point, the opportunity will present itself. You might even be able to share Messiah with them. Those of you who will join us, you will find out that many of the Israelis that would come, they would ask you, Why? Why are you hosting us? You're not Jews, are you? Now, this will give you a wonderful opportunity not to try and convince them that God exists or that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah. That's not even your job, by the way. That's God's job. Your job is just to provoke them to jealousy. Remember Romans 11.11. Det er så mye rommet bra om et og et lov, at akkurat arbeidet er at få deg å bli øvnsjuk. Men når de spør deg hvorfor, du vil være med dem, du vil være med dem, hva de største messiah, hva de største messiah, hva de største messiah, hva de største messiah, hva de største god, hva de største messiah, hva de største god, 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 Du kan fortelle dem at tid gjør den tid er det største kjønnen i hjemme. Everything that we hold so dear to our hearts, we've been given from you. Alt her som vi dere gav vi, det har vi finnet fra tykko. You gave us the prophets and the apostles. De gav oss profetene og apostlene. You gave us the scriptures. De gav oss skriftene. And above all, you gave us Messiah. Og i alt så gav dere oss Messias. If it wasn't for you, the Jews, hvis det ikke var for dere gjør der, where would we be? Hva hadde vi så vært? We would be lost. Vi er veldig fortapt. Det least vi kan gjøre. Det er det minste vi kan gjøre. Det er å invite deg inn i våre hjem. At bjøde deg inn i hjemme jokken. Telling deg at du ikke er der på din egen. Og fortelle deg at det er ikke ansammelt. At vi støtter deg. At vi støtter deg. At vi støtter deg. At vi støtter deg. At vi vil være deg venner. At vi vil være venner. Vet du hva slags impact det vil ha på deres liv? Vet du hva slags arv kan dette ha haft av løvet? Gud er søkker hvem som kan gjøre dette. Gud hikker at hvem kan gjøre dette. Vil du være den som? Hva tid er det at hei? Hvis du ikke vil. Hvis du ikke vil. Gud vil stille sette sine mennesker. Så får Gud stadig vekk av fleste sitt folk. But you will miss a wonderful opportunity. Men tid du misser av en gående mulige. To take part with what God himself is doing. At være en pastor av tøy som Gud selv vil gjøre. And today, more than ever. Og i dag, må jeg nærke noe. God is after the salvation of his people, the Jews. Så vil Gud 
Because God is about the greatest day in history. The day when Messiah returns to this world. We look forward to that day. I hope that you too. I'm running out of my time. Now over there is sitting Hermaine. Can you wave Hermaine? Everyone that want to join as host, go there and fill out the form. Don't say I'm too young or I'm too old. Don't say my home is not big enough, it's not nice enough. Just make yourselves available to God. You know what you will find out? That God can even use you. Even with the salvation of his people, the Jews. Thank you so much. For the opportunity to come and share just glimpses of what's on my heart. And may God, and may God truly bless you as he promised to do to everyone that blesses his people Israel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Omri. So, thank you for your time and your time and your time. Det var drutt, men det var avhåvert å høyre, det ga du. Og er det nekka som vi føringer bare årfyrer, så er det bare gjestet blod. Det hadde vi kommet å stolte av som kjøv, og til å passe akkurat mentene, er vi dyr og faktisk mye blod. Og jeg hadde alltid nok stolte av at vi har målet kan jeg kunne være vidt til å bli av jøten høy. Og på den måten kunne jeg være av filmen for deg, og være løs for deg. Og jeg kan fortelle at jeg har alltid tatt en vits på om fra Søstmoen i Haiti og Erland, Erland som er omsettet. Jeg tenker enda for å huske å nyte av denne måten, og til den relasjonen som stadig er der, er vel hverandre, er også kunne kjenne denne personen alle vel. Og hverfor jeg vil huske, så har vi holdt seg på vi kan, og han har også kjørt nekk for å komme, at vi skulle sutte oss hverfor her, og vi har hatt nekk og prast sammen. Så det er alle sutte til å se og utvikle seg, og det har vært ut fra at han var livet her nå, og før så har feiret på denne måten til forrige år, og han har også vært i Ujslandet og Sørge og Eresen, ja. Og det er ikke noe gjøtene som er lige her nå, det er færre ofte til asiatisk land og forskjellig. Og det er ofte løytende i øynene, søkjende andre land. Og det er ikke noe færre inn i trykkvener som er nekke ved meditasjon og annet. Så det er nok så godt at vi kunne ha akkurat høyem åpen, og vi kunne være i fire måneder løs. Og som sagt, så er det alle frutt hvert man bjører, og hvordan man gjør mulig å bjøre. Det er kun det søkje hvis jeg skal ned, vi er alltid noen til praktiske hva man kan få til ut, og hva man er mulig å bjøre. Alt for å bare anbefale å få den kaffemånen av trøtt, og hvis det ligger fire av de kunne, at bjøre de kunne fram, at kunne huse gjøre til denne måten, så kunne vi fra før nå enda være løs for Israel. Så jeg husker denne verset, at glød meg kjører gjester blod, det er her vi har noe å ta en videre av øyndler til gjester. Så takk Jesper for at jeg holdt dem, og takk til deg for at du holdt deg, og til deg som vi da finnes jo fra tunne folket og tunne landet. Sikkert at du har det, du holdt deg, og bimme at du må få en opp for at du er som sies, og at du skal sutte til at du er frelser og hømsens, og at ansen er ved å være til himmel, og at han er gjøkken til å gå og feier. Så bare at du ber deg for deg om Jesus, og la deg sutte her i gjøkken, og at vi kunne... Vi har kan være måte, og vi kan sitte og provokere deg frem til å sutte, eller å lønne oss etter to i forhold til vi da finner ut til å gå og feier. At de gjøkene også skulle etter å lønne oss etter å få et opprettet forhold til. Og Jesus dør meg nå. Amen. Så takk for det dit, for kaffe, og så hvis du har mulighet til å huse og innsett deg, så bare for å skrive opp her på en. Tusen takk for kvalt, og takk for det lurte av oss vel.